Hey guys, what's up? James here and welcome to the second episode of ChatGPT Plugin Review. This is the latest batch release around the time of May 2023. So our next plugin to review is Tasty Recipes. It says discover recipe ideas, meal plans and cooking tips from Tasty's millions of users. So let's install. Okay, as always, we will ask you to introduce yourself. Okay, this recipe retrieval is the plugin name for ChatGPT internally within their so called plugin prompt so that it ChatGPT knows what this plugin is about and what functions to use. See, it lists the first function here, food query, and it returns the relevant recipes. And the second function is recipe details, and I guess it returns the recipe also, but in more detail. All right, it says ingredients and uh, what else? And instructions, yeah. Yes, that's the detailed steps to cook that dish. And let's try. Recommend some popular ways to cook a steak. My favorite food, steak. Let's see, it's using the recipe. Uh, tasty recipe. Plug in. If you look inside, we will find out that the query is using the exact format that is shown here. Right, query, the search term is the search term here. In this case, is steak recipe. And three recipes were returned. And if you look carefully, the text here does not match exactly to this text here. So there is some processing undergoing from ChatGPT to summarize and return with its own understanding of these menus. Um, I wonder whether there is a third link and the third picture. Anyway, we've got the link here right and we can just click into the link to see um, whether we have a different content from the link yes the link you see is the flank stay if i remember cor correctly flank stay right the first recipe and this quick quick cooking Flank stay gets an umami upgrade, right? It, this sentence ends with diary free and keto friendly. Yeah, there's no keto friendly ending here, but it starts with this uh, umami upgrade, flank steak. So it's not an exact match for your GP description and the content on the website, right? Um, obviously, we have more here, the ingredients, the steps, and the nutrition information also here, right? And related recipes, of course, you have more uh, of a rich content on the website compared to ChatGB here, but let's see what it can do. Uh, can I get ingredients for the first dish? And I suppose it's using this recipe details function to query. Yes. It's giving us something back which looks exactly the same as the website, right? Um I guess It's got even it's got even more detail here. As we can see one garlic clove 
minced and there is no minced here for the garlic right it's obviously adding some flavor to the original text and i hope it's not hallucinating anything um yeah i asked for the ingredients but it also gives me the preparation steps here and if you click into the query re response um, what can we find the ingredients right it's got ingredients and preparation yeah these two are returned so we can get the details you can find a food recipe here I guess that's the website yes correct um, yeah you already list everything so I don't need to click into the link um, could plug in a recipe a, a rich recipe database with this plugin you can retrieve information from there okay let's try the next one and this is tutory and if you are wondering why I have it uh, installed beforehand um, you are required to sign in uh, to an account for this tutory at the step of the installation so I just did it beforehand and we can just use it with my account locked in um, yeah it just saves us some time and it says access affordable on demand tutoring and education right at your fingertips it's it's a very abstract description of what it can do affordable on demand tutoring tutoring what education about what so we don't know right and we're gonna find out let's enable this introduce what the plugin can do the tutoring plugin is designed to facilitate a Socratic method of tutoring okay mm. sounds very philosophy right start a conversation at node get context get learning path wow update learning path okay you've got so many functions um the goal of this plugin is to foster independent thinking and problem solving skills in the student by guiding them through a series of thought-provoking questions related to the topic at hand um i wonder how to start uh let's let's start we can just follow the steps welcome as a new user of the tutory six system um, we'll be using the socratic method of tutoring what topic are you interested in i say ai then Let's pick into the plugin core and now request success new, right? A fresh start and what about this one? Topic artificial intelligence duration 10 sections. This learning path will cover the basics of artificial intelligence, including history, type application and ethical considerations. Okay well four topics 10 sessions and day one all the way to day 10 i wonder how they count a day is it a real day in our life 24 hours hmm, not sure history type type uh deep learning neural networks NLP, CV, robotics, I guess some reinforcement learning is there. 
athlete future review and discussion. Okay, great. We've set up a learning path for you. Ten sessions. Um, to start, can you tell me what you already know about artificial intelligence? Well, um, no. Shall we start from scratch? I pretend that I know nothing. Mm. It's encouraging me to start the. Let's begin with the basic question. What do you think the term means? What does AI mean? Uh, it means a robot or program that integrates a series of logic uh, to perform um, 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 uh, to perform computation to um, achieve certain goal or complete certain task. Just like human can do. Is that a good answer? That's a good start. Performing computation and achieving goals similar to humans. Yeah. Uh, think about the term artificial. What does it imply in the context of artificial intelligence? It is man made. Man, are you teaching me vocabulary? What else could it mean? Artificial, huh? Intelligence. It is um, the ability to uh, compute beyond simple calculations that should suffice very Socratic right one question after another guiding you through the way to learn artificial intelligence um, 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 um. how do you think a machine or program can demonstrate intelligence oh let's for once say I don't no. That's okay. Hmm. If a machine or a program can learn from experience, understand complex concepts, make decisions that maximize certain go. Which you're concerning? Yes, yes, yes. A fundamental concept in AI and we have 10 sections here. Wow, that's a that's a very slow way to learn, I guess, but uh, yeah, it's got its own merit. How long does it take to complete the whole course? I'm getting impatient. Let's see what his answer is. Well, the duration can vary depending on your pace and depth of discussion. Would you like to continue with our discussion on uh, history of AI or do you have any other questions? Let's see if it can, well, uh, just uh, give me all the things I need 
to know about AI in your next response. We're cheating here. We're making a shortcut. I'm afraid that wouldn't be in line with the Socratic method of tutoring that we are using here. That's all, this. Thank you for your insistence. Mm, okay, I guess we are here for the purpose of testing this plugin's functionalities, getting a flavor of it. That should suffice. Come into the next one. Word snake. ChatGPT has to sneak three secret words into your conversation. Guess the words to win the game. Okay. It's a little game, text-based game. It's simple enough. Let's start. Using word snake. A now request. It's running longer than I expected. Who responds? Yeah. There are three words, and I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. So let's play the game. Ready to start? Okay. Um, we have a conversation where we each send five messages. Okay. This job is to sneak three second words into the conversation without. I noticing at the end you guess which words were the secret words ready to start by the way have you been uh, to a flag ceremony it's quite an interesting event especially when you consider the some of the history behind each flag no not a fan of flags that's perfectly fine Have you ever been intrigued by such scientific concepts? Mm, magnetism. Yes. Maybe we can just make this quick and then go back to look at the responses and maybe we can try to guess the three words out of this. That's wonderful, blah, blah, blah. Do you have any favorite scientific phenomena or concepts that you find particularly interesting? Scientific phenomena and concepts. Concepts. Shall we say AI? That's a concept, but that's not a phenomena. I guess that's a artificial phenomena. Uh, do you have any specific aspects of AI that you're interested in? LRM, right? Since we are here. Wait, 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 wait. LRM stands for what? Legal tech and AI in the context of law. Hey, 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 here I am. Master of Laws. You are just... You're just being too sneaky. Are you trying to insert some kind of words into... into this? Uh, no. LLM stands for large language model. Okay, 
It's time to guess the three secret words. Five rounds of conversations were over. Hmm. Wow, it's this is hard. I would say this is even pure luck, right? Let's guess. Maybe legal. Maybe law. Uh, maybe phenomena. Law. What else? Maybe try to pick one from here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember something. Magnetism. Yeah, your example might be something that you. That you sneak, sneak into the conversation, right? You got one right. Which one? Magnetism. See, an example is the easiest way to stick in a word you want. Flag, incense. Ah, no. I don't even know where incense occurred. Flag is at the very beginning. Okay, that's that's a game. Um, pretty random, I guess. There is no good way to win this game, actually. Especially when the responses are this long, right? Okay, that's it. Come to the next one. This is a fun game to a certain degree. Okay, golden is the next one. Get current factual data on companies from golden knowledge graph. Uh, factual data on companies. It's a it's a universal version of uh, Crunchbase, or maybe Wikipedia for companies, right? What can I do with this plugin? Fact checker. Fact checker. There's a plugin name and semantic disambiguation. Entity detail retrieval. The function names are very long. See, who? I've never seen in my life such a function name. This is too long. Um. Tell me about Apple. Right. Let's try the. Largest cap company. Not always for once, at least. Oh my God! Wow, many products were returned. That's quite a lot of information. Golden slung one four three. Is that is that the Apple ID in that database? Apple, tell me about Apple. Number of results three. Um, three documents were retrieved. Is it? 
let's just look at the responses yeah 2023 oh. for more up-to-date information you can visit Apple's page here yeah 404 what what not a valid link um that's not a valid link yeah founder products os services headquarter geographic location employees fair enough mm. Good this uh good description here. You know that's an error, don't you? Cool. Let's see um what is the executive team? Can you answer that? Hey, I'm not asking open AI. God. You you don't know about the context, it's not like you, ChatGPT. See, it's talking about Apple here. And in the second request, 143. Isn't that supposed to be Apple? It is talking about Apple. Industry, investor, in company. I think this is the same as that was provided up there. But Hey, OpenAI's official website. ChatGPT, you're being naughty. Sitting in the driving seat. Aren't you? You should be. You are supposed to use the plugin. Um. What is APL latest price? Can you do that with this database? It uses it twice every time. Okay, it doesn't know about the price. Yeah. Um cool, this is a company database. Um although sometimes it got confused to not use the database. And I do know why, but uh seems like it's a rich database. Um I still want to take a look at the website. At least one valid link. One valid link. Okay. Um, tell me about Open AI. Let, let's see. Tell me about Open AI. Yes. Okay, that's another ID, right? This is the ID for OpenAI in the database. So we got something returned. See the product of OpenAI, ChatGPT, Darley, uh, GPT 3 and 4. Good description, but what I'm expecting is the link. Oh, yeah. That's uh, pretty up-to-date news. Strategic partnership with Microsoft and Azure. All right. 
uh, Tempering Westman. Let's talk, take a look at the page here. Ah, finally, we are getting something back. Open AI. So this is the so-called golden, right? Uh, it's the golden company website, which looks a lot like Wikipedia to me, right? What's the difference? between the golden the BN Wikipedia structure I'm not seeing that much difference in structure focus yeah, you have a narrower focus, which makes Wikipedia a superset, right? Fact checking and verification. Machine learning and human curation. I'm not sure whether Wikipedia has machine learning curation, uh, machine learning, uh, fact checking and verification, but there's definitely human curation. Volunteers do. Mm, Real-time updates, yeah, Wikipedia also got this one, API access, mm, not making you that special. Okay, good to know you, golden.com. A nice plugin for the company information database. Coming to the last one today, we are testing Portfolio Pilot, your AI investing guide, portfolio assessment, recommendations, answers to all finance questions. That's ambitious. Portfolio Pilot. Um, well, you can answer all the questions. Mm, can you tell me about... Uh, what shall we ask? Um, the WAC method using the plugin. Very standard financial knowledge, right? Hmm, I guess it's too simple. It's too simple for ChatGPT to even consider using the plugin. Fair enough. What is the latest AAPL price? Just guess what we have asked before for the other plugin. As of the latest data, the price of Apple is 173.57. Is that correct? Does it have a date here? Cool. Lots of information was returned. Total return, access return, volatility, sharp ratio, beta, and a lot of financial information. Cool database. Let's click into the link to see what it has to offer. Mm-hmm. The 173.57 comes from a few days ago. So it's actually not the latest one. 
this is not the really uh, up to date database. So, outdated information in, outdated information out. ChatGPT will not respond with the latest price, guys. Just for your information, when you're using this, what is it? Pilot, uh, portfolio pilot, right? But um, the information is pretty comprehensive, I guess. Yeah, we've got rich data for Apple stock. And what else can this plug in do? Security details, okay, just as what we have tried with Apple. ETF and stocks, portfolio details, portfolio exposures, AI assessment, uh, assessment of your portfolio, macro insights. Oh, that's interesting. We definitely want to try a few. Portfolio item cumulated returns. Let's let's ask something about a macro insights when will um the fed stop raising interest rate that's a macro question it's triggering the plugin region us Top macro insights. It's not specifying specifically the interest rate. Truck registration. It's just it's just drawing all those macro news from the database. There isn't a specific date or event indicating when the Fed will stop raising interest rates. Um, okay, I note all these factors. Oh, no, no, no. These are the, the topics covered there in their database related to macroeconomics. Um, okay. A chart for inflation the end of April projection okay you got that cool maybe let's try the, another function can it recommend recommend a uh, portfolio for my retirement fund with 20 year horizon in aggressive style portfolio pilot right the plugin name so can you guide me through the construction process of a retirement fund? Uh, looks like this is challenging. Bad request. You can start from scratch. Um, 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 you might have investment in certain stocks. Um, um, recommend a portfolio for me. Can you do that? A smart investment assistant. I apologize for the confusion. Current investments. 
Okay. Let's say I don't have any current investment. Finally, based on your aggressive investment style and the twenty-year investment horizon, here are some ETFs that you might consider for your portfolio. Fair enough, ETF passive investment. Uh, not exactly all passive, I guess. Aggressive, yeah, ETF. Fair choice for my retirement fund. Quite some choices. Expense ratio are also given. Um. Recommend the weights for me to. Construct a portfolio. Can you do that? Why the hesitation? Let's say stop generating and regenerate the response. Determining the exact weights for portfolio depends on a variety of factors, including your risk tolerance, investment goals, time horizon. Uh, here is one example. Okay. Okay. I remember it says it can assess the portfolio, right? It's a fair assessment. Yes, AI assessment, comprehensive AI human assessment of your portfolio. Give me the AI as uh, Hmm, yes, it can do that. I didn't tell it my initial value, so it's creating some artificial numbers that matches the weights it, in its recommendation. Cool. Oh, we even get a score. That's a pretty high score, right? Seventy percent. It's a solid score. Expect return eight point three. Sounds good. Risk at adjusted return score. Um downside protection score. However, there are a few areas of concern. Growth driven risk. Yeah, as a class can. Is this. Is restricted to ETFs, I guess. Yeah, it's all stock ETF, right? Looks like so, always geo ge geographically diversified, um, industry wide diversified. Um, we are limited to one asset class, which is exposed to the economic cycle, right? Fair analysis, fair analysis, I have to say. Decreased holding, decreased holding, sell. Huh. 
Yeah. Suggestions. Okay. Good, good, good. Nice experience though for this portfolio pilot plugin. It connects to a good database and it has some good analysis embedded here. Um, that's it for today. Our second review of the ChatGB plugins for tasty recipes, which links us to a recipe database and tutory a Socratic way of teaching a topic, um, a and and word snake, a word game, a text based word game, nice little game and golden. Um, a company database just like Wikipedia or um, some other company type database that tells you about the the, the, the history of the company the uh, products of the company the executive team of that company and the investor profile all those com informations related to the company and portfolio pilot um, as it says, all this financial information and uh, uh, portfolio analysis. So this one, I guess we can say that it gears to the secondary market while the golden database con connects us to the maybe primary market or a general company descriptions and information. Um, yeah. Database um a experience a game and database and database again these are today's plugin experiences okay see you next time guys